Welcome back. Please share, subscribe, and comment. In molecular spectroscopy, the Burge Sponer method or Burge Sponer plot is a way to calculate the dissociation energy of a molecule. By observing transitions between as many vibrational energy levels as possible, for example, through electronic or infrared spectroscopy, the difference between the energy levels, delta GV plus 1, 2 equals G, V plus 1, minus GV can, be calculated. This sum will have a maximum at VMAX, representing the point of bond dissociation. Summing over all the differences up to this point gives the total energy required to dissociate the molecule, i.e. to promote it from the ground state to an unbound state. This can be written. D0 equals sigma V equals 0 VM AX delta GV plus 1, 2, where D0 is the dissociation energy. If a Morse potential is assumed, plotting delta GV plus 1, 2 against V plus 1 slash 2 should give a straight line, from which it is easy to extract VM AX from the intercept with the x-axis. In practice, such plots often give curves because of unaccounted anharmonicity in the potential. Furthermore, the low population of the higher states, or the frank condon principle, makes it difficult to experimentally obtain data at high values of V. Thus, the extrapolation can be inaccurate and only an upper limit for the value of the dissociation energy can be obtained. This method takes its name from Raymond Thayer Burge and Hertha Sponer, the two physical chemists that developed it. A detailed example may be found here.